What's up guys, in today's episode we're going to be installing the propane system on the adventure trailer. Stay tuned. So the first step is to install our tank bracket back into place, just these two 13 millimeter bolts into our mount. Next I'm going to fit up our test tank so that we can start getting measurements for the rest of the system. Let me kind of walk you guys through what's going on here. So this is a standard Camco uh, high pressure, low pressure combo regulator. Um, here we have what's called a street T, so it's got a male half in, or I'm sorry, male three eighths threaded that goes in here and two female um, 3 8 uh, threaded pieces that go here. This is just a uh, close nipple um, 3 8 and this is a propane quick connect. Basically this will be to our camping stove um, and I've got the other end of this that I'll install on the camping stove when I buy it. But basically whenever we want to camp we open up the kitchen, put this camping stove out and there'll just be a hose that plugs in here and, and you'll be good to go. This end of the T is going to run over here and to eventually feed our uh, hot water heater. And so we have to pass safely through this uh, 14 gauge sheet, make a hole and mount uh, two sets of T's, or I'm sorry, two sets of angles. You pass through this securely and then there'll be one hose here that'll kind of act as a vibration dampener and then another hose obviously running down to the uh, hot water heater. So we're basically just gonna center it under here so it's kind of protected by this box so nothing's gonna really hit um, the back side of it. And here's what we're going to do. Basically this is a galvanized T that's going to go right here, going this way, and this is going to hook to our propane tank. And we're going to use this closed nipple. Now obviously the when you tighten these, because they're MPT threads, they um, basically expand, they're kind of conical shaped, so they expand the tighter you get to give you a good seal. But that means you're going to end up with like a, probably I think by measure is like 0.4 inches of difference and I don't want this rotating or bouncing around inside of here so we're going to use these washers to um, basically weld onto here and make a make a spacer so I'm going to figure out exactly how many of the washers I need and then we're going to tighten this up and just make sure that it uh, is fully tight. Now we're going to end up using three of these and it's super important that you strip the galvanization off of them before you weld them. Uh, the stuff that they use to galvanize metal is real nasty shit. And you definitely don't want to be breathing that in, especially if you're welding. Um, so basically this is just going to go on here. I think we're going to do uh, one on the outside and two on the inside. And then I'm just going to tack these together and weld them on. Um, and that way, that should give us enough thickness to take up most of the slop in this guy, which is just going to live in here. And the idea here is that these fittings aren't welded to the trailer, they're just held on by compression. Um, and it should give us enough thread depth that we're gonna have a good seal on both sides. So there you go. So this is tightened in now. This fitting comes out this way. And if I take you around back, this fitting is torqued down coming this way. So that way we can hook the gas line up right over there. So the next thing is we've got to make the gas lines themselves. And for that, we're using this. This is half inch CSST, stands for corrugated stainless steel tubing. Um, and you've got to use these special fittings with it. Now, I got this back when I built the box truck and it worked great for two years. And so I got no reason to think it's not gonna work great for this. Um, these fittings are a little expensive. This ProFlex brand I think is sold exclusively by Lowe's. Um, but there's a, a couple of different brands that you can buy and you just have to follow the instructions for assembling the fittings. And I never had any sort of leak issues. So here it is. Um, to cut it, you just use one of these standard type uh, pipe cutters and then you use just a, a knife to take this plastic off. You want like four or five of these showing 
and it tells you in the instructions. So for the first one, we're going to use this because this has a 3 8 inch adapter and one of these on the other side and that'll form our connection. So when you're assembling these, basically there's a washer here that has a slit in it. You put it on the fourth uh, valley, then there's a solid washer and then there's this O-ring that you just clip in there like that. Obviously you have to put the nut on first and then you just slide this in and tighten them down. So here's our final system. Um, everything is tight, no leaks. I have a little propane tester. No propane. And then in there we just run from there to there. And that completes our propane system. Well, that concludes the propane installation part of the trailer. Uh, if you guys like the video, hit the like button. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Check out all of the other uh, Adventure Trailer build videos in the Adventure Trailer playlist. As always, all the parts that I used are in the description in the um, Google documents so that you guys can go through there and take a look. Every dollar that was spent on the trailer is in there. Uh, give you an idea of how much of this costs to build. Thank you guys for watching. Love you. Peace.